is a nice, cold, and crisp evening here in the New York metropolitan area. Here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Big East basketball, Pittsburgh taking on Seton Hall. Welcome inside, everybody. Big East basketball on your TV tonight is the eighth-ranked Pittsburgh Panthers. They're on a little bit of a roll here, taking on the Seton Hall Pirates. As we look at the Big East standings, as we come down the stretch run for postseason, Pittsburgh trying to hold off Georgetown, which has won nine in a row. Meanwhile, Seton Hall trying to stay out of that bottom four, which would disqualify itself for entry into the Big East tournament. Hi again, everybody, along with Jim Spinarkel. I'm Dave Sims. Glad you could join us. And our big story tonight is the Pittsburgh Panthers out without their big man, Aaron Gray. Suffered a uh, leg injury on Saturday in the win against Washington, and that's a big loss tonight. It is. He's their leading scorer, their leading rebounder for this team also. When we take a look at this play, as time trickled down with 10 seconds left, Gray goes up looking for a rebound, comes down and turns that ankle. So obviously have problems with Pitt, will not play tonight. You see the injury again, but one of the key things I think will change the tempo of this game, he's got the protective boot on the left ankle. So as I mentioned, the big guy not there for Pitt tonight, so Seton Hall has an opportunity to attack a little bit. We will see in the starting lineup, Sam Young will step in for him, a guy who comes off the bench. Pretty athletic guy, so he should be fairly impact player tonight. One of the things that Seton Hall does, they attack you with three perimeter guys that can really get it done. Although they've been on a down right now, but they've got some outstanding young talent to throw at Pittsburgh tonight. Yeah, and the way Pittsburgh plays, obviously a defensive-oriented team. They shut guys down, and with Seton Hall's perimeter guys, they have to look for good shots, good shot selection. And Eugene Harvey is one of the guys, as a rookie, really coming along, playing well for Bobby Gonzalez and company, but has to make great decisions tonight against this tough pit team. Seton Hall's lost seven consecutive conference games that go against a Pittsburgh team that shares the ball as well as anybody in the country. Number eight, Pittsburgh takes on Seton Hall. The opening tip comes up right after these messages. Experience is an excellent teacher. And what over 45 years of experience has taught Oppenheimer Funds is the strength of a balanced approach and the effectiveness of a diversely skilled team. Valuable lessons that guide us through an ever-changing financial landscape. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. President's Day only comes once a year. And to celebrate, Chevy has some commanding offers with great deals on almost every 07. The Chevy President's Day Sale. Hurry, five days only, then this term ends. Non-GM owners and lessees can get $2,500 total cash back on a 2007 Chevy Impala. See for yourself. Shop and compare at PACHevyDeals.com. Tonight's Big East game is brought to you by... Principal Financial Group will give you an edge. Red Lobster. Lobster Fest is back with classic and new irresistible ways to love lobster. And by Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Sims and Jim Spinarco with you. Enthusiastic crowd on hand here at the Meadowlands for tonight's Big East contest as we get ready for a Big East tilt between Pittsburgh and Seton Hall and our star watch tonight, Jim Spinarkel, a couple of youngsters from the New York metro area. Uh, you do, you have Ron, Ron, Ronald Ramon who likes to shoot the ball from long range, 45% coming off the bench, a nice factor, a team, Seton Hall, a guy that Seton Hall really has to focus on when he's on the floor, and Brian Lang coming off a nice double-double against West Virginia, a guy who really has to play solid basketball. When he plays well, gives Seton Hall a shot to win. Starting lineups tonight, LeVance Fields, Graves, Cook. Mike Cook slides into the start, make that Sam Young slides into the starting lineup, and LeVon Kendall will play the five spot. Vacated by the injured Aaron Gray. Harvey Nutter Lang are the three main guys for Seton Hall. Gaines and Garcia, they're big front court people. Right now we take a look at the principal financial group, Edge 2, tonight's game. 
Well, you take a look at Pittsburgh. You know, without Aaron Gray in the lineup, Dave, I think controlling the paint will be interesting. You know, without him there, they had a guy when on the floor they could really look and focus on him. They've played well on the road, so let's see if Pitt can continue to do that. Seton Hall on the other side. Shot selection is so important for them against a tough defensive team like Pitt. And obviously Seton Hall is successful when they try to set the tempo going up and down, especially at the defensive end with their tough man-to-man. -man. Pittsburgh, the last unbeaten team on the road in conference play anywhere in the country. 5-0, and oh, they've won at Syracuse, DePaul, Cincinnati, Villanova, and West Virginia. Garcia back after a knee injury. Glad to have him back over the last month or so. Here's Lang, who's had a very nice year. Lang sixth in scoring in the Big East. Harvey, Nutter, hesitated for a moment, pulls the trigger and drills a three. Well, an early breakdown defensively by Pitt just then, leaving Nutter all alone on the left side from that stripe, and that allows them to come up with the full court pressure. Lang right here doing a good job along with Harvey. Nutter's 59th triple, most on the ball club. Here's LeVon Kendall, Cook. Lance Fields, a lot of New York flavor on this Pittsburgh ball club. Kendall up top. LeVance Fields out of Zaverian High School in Brooklyn. Antonio Graves is the shot clock to four. Kendall wheels inside, jump hook, front rim, and a foul. Referees tonight, Curtis Shaw, Les Jones, and Jamie Lucky. Curtis Shaw making the call. There's Bobby Gonzalez in his first year as head coach in the Big East Conference after being an assistant to Pete Gillen at Xavier Providence in Virginia. Two-time Metro Atlantic Coach of the Year. Foul is on Graves, his first. Uh, Gaines, beg your pardon, his first. As Kendall goes to the line. And Levon Kendall, a 6'10 senior from Vancouver, British Columbia, 72% free throw shooter. Member of the Canadian national team a couple of years ago, academic All-American. Seton Hall by one early on here. Seton Hall's won the last two meetings here at the Meadowlands. Overall, Pittsburgh's won six of the last nine in this meeting. Tell Gray on the floor. We go upstairs. That's an athleticism there. There's Brian Lang again. Uh, you don't have Gray on the floor, so you would think Seton Hall would try to attack a little bit, try to go through the middle of the floor and really test this different lineup. The other side, though, Dave, without having Gray on the on the floor, almost makes a better matchup for Pitt at the same time defensively. More open spaces. Fields fires one up and taken down by Nutter. Seton Hall. Lost seven consecutive conference games. They did have a win in that stretch. They beat Princeton, which is having a really down year, but a nice win nonetheless for Seton Hall. Down low. Garcia gets a layup. They're getting right into the teeth of the Pittsburgh defense. 7-2 Seton Hall. And it almost sounded as if the ball was slapped just then by Garcia or another guy with Garcia holding on to it. Just so good strength in his hands to finish that play off. And a man defense by Seton Hall. Here's Young. That's what Seton Hall wants to do here, Dave. They want to get out in a hurry if they can. Put some points on the board. Here's a steal off the deflection. Lang's got it. Lang going to back his way down. A better decision, though, to give that ball up. It looked like he was going to try to go against one on two just then, which would not have been a good decision early on with the 7 2 lead. Most of the scoring gonna be Harvey Lang and Nutter. Nutter driving baseline. Put it up underneath the backboard. Garcia deals inside. He got the roll. That's a heck of a touch. John Garcia, freshman from Brentwood, New York. Well, has battled the knee injuries. And so earlier in the, in the season when he was getting his time, they were really running him in for four and five minute stretches to get his game shape back. But right now when he gets that ball down deep using the hands and the good footwork to get off a good shot down in the low post area and gets that touch to get it to drop. 9-2, so Seton Hall against the eighth ranked team in the nation. Graves over the top. The tip is good, well done by Cook. Mike Cook from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Played high school ball at Friends Central with Hakeem Warwick and Mustafa Shakur. 
Terrific spot up on the offensive side of the glass, huh? Nobody even close to getting a body on him. Yeah. Warwick, an all-star with the Syracuse Orange, now in the NBA with Memphis, and Mustafa Shakur finishing up his career at Arizona. There's Jamie Dixon. You can see that number 99 looking for career win number 100. He'd be the fastest pit coach to 100 wins. Now the foul on Mike Cook, his first. Second team foul on the Panthers. Turnover. Nutter couldn't control it right at the pit bench. Now Jamie Dixon continues with Bobby Gonzalez really jockeying with one another. And Dixon has really done a terrific job throughout his short career with Pittsburgh. Switch over to Ben Howland, who went on to UCLA, got him to the Final Four just a year ago. Yep. And a good ball club this year, yeah. too. Really good. They've been in the top three to five. Well, they were number one for a lot of them. The first coach in pit history, too, to win four consecutive 20-plus seasons. So the numbers just stack up. This program over the last five, seven years has really done a terrific job. Here's Harvey, keeps the dribble alive. Attacks lefty delivery, no. Rebound fields. Pittsburgh on the run, down 9-4. Cook will raise up. Short jumper, can't go. Keep it right here. As Stan Gaines had a body on Sam Young, and he gets called for a too strenuous a block out. Early alley-oop with Seton Hall of Business up by five at the 15-48 mark. Trying to make sense of all your insurance options can make anyone feel a bit helpless. Fortunately, that's where we come in. For over 125 years, the principal has helped make the tough financial decisions easier. So whether it's life insurance, disability income insurance, or medical coverage, we can make protecting you and yours a lot less stressful. The Principal Financial Group will give you an edge. If you want to make your hard-earned dollar go a whole lot farther, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has the low prices guaranteed to save you money. Get ready to get the best price possible on all the parts and accessories you need with our ready-to-go low price guarantee. Nobody can beat our prices on just about anything for your car. So when you want to get more for your money while getting more out of your car, get to Advance Auto Parts for our everyday ready-to-go low price guarantee. Ready and Hey, if you're looking for an auto show, come to Barrel. Right now, pick up a brand new 07 Cobalt for as low as $89 a month. And there's so much more. Right now at the one and only Barrel Chevrolet. I like my Subway pastrami sandwich fresh toasted. With cheese, lots of cheese. I always put plenty of mustard on mine. How do I like my Subway sandwich? Check it out. Introducing the Big Hot Pastrami Sandwich from Subway Restaurants. It's a foot long with a mound of delicious pastrami. Fresh toasted with melted cheese, pickles, and mustard. Pick one up today. Where's my Subway restaurant? 14 stories down. They call me Mr. Big Hot Pastrami. Subway, eat fresh. Hey, if you're looking for an auto show, come to Barrel. Right now, pick up a brand new 07 Subaru Forester for as low as $1.99 a month. And there's so much more. Right now at the one and only Barrel Subaru. Oh, here at home with an early lead over number eight, Pittsburgh. Dave Sims, Jim Spinarkle, and one of the reasons why you don't have that big seven-footer in the middle, Jimmy. You don't, so it's a good opportunity to start testing it, especially earlier in the game. And Garcia here going down, finishing it off. And notice the drives, Nutter bringing it down, and Garcia second time and an opportunity to finish it off. It's a nice cut and hugs the rim. But as you touched on without Aaron Gray, and you take a look at his numbers, you know, and, and the fact of the matter is, David, you touched on it also, the seven-footer not in the middle to clog things up. He blocks about, what, two, two a game yeah. or so. So he's he not like well. a dominator in terms of blocking shots, but just big enough to, to, to steer people away from the paint area. He's no, uh, was it Hashim Thabit or uh, Roy Hibbert, but he's up there. Graves on the inbound, quick pop, can't find it. Loose ball, good battle. Seton Hall had it, lost it. And it hit on the sideline. It's going to be Panther ball at uh, Seton Hall Pirate ball. How about in the paint? Seton Hall six points to two in the paint against Jamie Dixon's ball club. And, and a good start shooting the ball. Four for six for Seton Hall. Pittsburgh now one for six. Seton Hall 13th in field goal percentage in entering tonight's game. Pittsburgh's third behind Georgetown Providence. 
High pace Garcia. Goes to Nutter. Deep hoist from there, and he hits it. 12 to 4, Seton Hall. That's exactly what Bobby Gonzalez was hoping for, too, Dave. Get the early start. Jimmy Dixon wants to talk things over, but you get a little bit of rhythm. Bobby out on the court here, greeting his players as they come off. Trying to get that early rhythm, and not only that, but you get the early confidence against a team that's highly ranked like Pitt. And the, and the other part of it is, too, obviously, without Aaron Gray, Pitt's a different team. We all know that. But with that said, I think Seton Hall will take a win with or without Thank Gray in the lineup. So, so just keep pushing along and get your win. Absolutely. They lose to West Virginia. And their last game out by 10, 81 71. Almost the identical uh, score from when we were here on February 30. It was 81 70. And they lose to Villanova. They lost to Connecticut. They played well at Connecticut. 67 55. And that game didn't really get out of hand until right. the last minute and change. It was a game where they were looking for Dyson getting nuts in the second half, about 8 for 10 from the field. Ronald Ramon is in the game right now. Long range shooter. So Jamie Dixon gonna try to ma match some shooting with shooting. Ramon, a 6'1 junior out of the Bronx, New York, with All Hallows High School. Steps in, first shot, mid range jumper. How about that, Jim Garcia with the rebound. You don't see those mid range jumpers. That was a good look, though. Nice pass here, also. How about Lang? What an effort to make that catch. Yep. That's outstanding. And a nice touch pass at the same time, too, I think, from Nutter Dave in terms of going over the top of the defenders with that touch. And Jamie Dixon's way out on the floor down at the other end, trying to get his team up and running. Heard Jamie on Pittsburgh Radio today. He said, hey, this is no gimme tonight. Sam Young, right side, nothing going there. Rebound to Harvey. And here come the decision. Let's see what Harvey does. That's a good decision not to go deep on that pass. Lang, back rim to Kendall. Loses the battle. Garcia saved. Nutter feeling it. Back rim won't go. Loose ball. Larry Davis almost got it. Young wins it. That battle for Pittsburgh. Up ahead to Cook. Nice catch. Ramon on the dribble. Fields down the lane, a good ball movement by the Panthers. They're going to try to keep an eye on the as much as they can. Davis on him right now in the perimeter. Six minutes in, first half, 14 4. It's been all Seton Hall here early going. Kendall will raise up with the jumper and hits. Levon Kendall Levon. averaging just five points at five rebounds, but he shoots 41%. It's a guy that presence, rebounds. Making a couple of good passes. Yep, steady guy, just knows what he's trying to accomplish. Larry Davis turned away. Lang, good looking shot. Back rim, a little too rich on that one. Kept alive, and here's Fields. Nice touch there by Cook. Seton Hall doesn't lead the league and steals for nothing. Yep, they get him, don't they? 11 a game. Harvey, challenging, nothing doing there. Contact, they let him play. Here's Cook. Speaking of steals, Paul Gauze isn't even on the court yet. He's at the scorer's table waiting to get in this game. So if you like steals, hold on to your seat. You folks in the Pittsburgh area, if you haven't heard of Paul Gauze, I guarantee within about a minute he's going to make an impact. Yeah, he'll, he'll do something. This guy, number 22 for the Pitt Panthers, Jamie Dixon knows all about him. He's the defensive player of the year candidate, leads the Big East in almost four steals a game. He's got 84, it's a single season record, number 22. A one man wrecking crew, baseline jumper, looking good. It goes down Tyrell for Pittsburgh's Tyrone, Tyrell Biggs out of Nanuet, New York. So another New York metropolitan area player. 14-8. You know, Jamie Dixon's team is deep. They, he uses a lot of bench players up to about nine guys, and they're productive, too, as a bench. But Biggs looks a lot better since we saw him last year. Looks like he's lost a lot of weight. Well, he's bouncing around very right nicely out there. there. Turnover on the travel by Seton Hall. Seton Hall's lost seven consecutive. They started two and one in the Big East Conference, and since then, one and eight. Pir uh, Pirates. 3-3 three and three here at home. Wins against Rutgers, St. John's, and Providence. They lose to Georgetown, West Virginia, and Nova here on this court. Oh, Steal, yeah. here's Goss, told you. Nice pass. Goss to Harvey, lay it up and in. Good call, Dave. I think you were off by about 10 seconds, right? <laughs> Minute. I mean, he's, he's right there. You're right he on it. Yes, was all over Connecticut last Wednesday up with Stewart. It's remarkable. 
Now he comes in and it's like <laughs> it's like three guys out there. And they're in a matchup man to man right now. Part man to man and part zone. The matchup. Keith Benjamin in the game. Number one. Nice step through. Runner, no good. Too strong. Tip is good. Tip is good by Kendall. And yeah, that's good work by the Panthers, really looking for seams against that matchup. As soon as you catch the ball, you must think about doing something with it and slice and cut right through the middle. Gauze can shoot it too. Good matchup here with Benjamin. Lang. Oh, nice closure there by Pitt. Sure was. This team knows how to play some defense. Gauze down low, runner, got it. And one. Oh, offensive foul, offensive foul. Great job by Pittsburgh to hang in and take the charge. Fine job by Biggs. Pittsburgh working its way back in the game. Gauze trying to electrify his club again, but turned away. Six point lead for the Hall. You get just 24 hours every day to work towards your goals. Just 24 hours to get one step closer to your dreams. And at PNC, we're always searching for ways to help. To give you solutions designed to uncomplicate your life. So you can navigate the next 24 hours. PNC, leading the way. Well, the Garden's the best place to play college basketball in the country anyway. For a regular season or any game, it's just an exciting place. But at the tournament time, uh, it's the best place to have a tournament. It kind of reminds me of the old days when the NIT was at the Garden, and coming to New York is where you proved yourself. And the Big East is the same way. I truly know what it's all about, the tradition and the history of the place, and 25 years is quite special for the Big East. This is the greatest city in the world, and I truly believe that Madison Square Garden is the mecca of basketball in the world. One for a reason. Honey, could you come up here for a minute? Are those fish nets? Bingo. Do you know what I'm thinking? I sure do. Mm -hmm. Two fish sandwiches for four dollars at Arby's. Where are my keys? Here they are. Get dressed. Let's go. Arby's two fish sandwiches for four dollars. Crispy, flaky fish with classic tartar sauce. Or introducing our new spicy Cajun tartar sauce. They'll have you saying, "I'm thinking Arby's." One, 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 one. Continental Airlines Arena, six-point lead by Seton Hall. Seton Hall's led all of the way, and Paul Gauze impacting already. And gets into the game, and he gets a steal. Right away with the hands, he just positions himself so well. And how about that little bounce pass also? Not a bad one for Harvey to seal it off. You take a look at the steals leaders in the NCAA. Seton Hall, just under 11, as you touched on before, Dave. And they like to get up and go after they get the steal and turn you over with it. That's one of the reasons why they're the number four scoring team in the conference They're under 75 a game. Right. They get so many points off of steals. It's not like they're a great shooting team at 42%. It's down in the bottom. Look at their rebounding too, they're minus four. So that's how they get it done. Kendall turns and faces, gets it back to Ramon. Swing it right corner. Boy, having a tough time, but there's a put back up and in off the Braves miss. So it's 16-12, and the Panthers are right back. They've hit one of the best passing teams in the country and in this league, and so they will work the ball for the extra shot. They did it just then, and they seem to get a real good feel on the offensive glass. Benjamin too physical on Davis after he gets that tip. Golf fans and club pros, it's not too early to start thinking about the 2007 ESPN National Golf Challenge. Log on to ESPNGolf.com to register your team or to sign up your course as a qualifying site. Be a part of the search for America's best twosome. Yeah, let's think fairway thoughts because that makes us a heck of a lot warmer here, doesn't it? They like hey. savings time is going to be early this yes, year. Yes, sir. Too. I like that. Weeks? I like that thought. Hey, our folks in Washington getting it done, huh? <laughs> <laughs> March, March 11th. Harvey, Gauze, back 
kick out to Harvey off his leg. Turnover and a breakout. Nobody home. Graves. Hello. Well, that's what Pitt will do also. Both of these teams will force the defensive side of the floor, really help one another, and there was that Pitt defense where they weak side. You know, they always get the impression that when there's a loose ball in the defensive sets with Pitt, that they're all ready to play and go after it and attack. And when you get these easy ones, they start to add up after a little while. With Graves showing a little bit of a hop, huh? 6-3. 10-2 run, and that's a tradition that Ben Hallen brought, and Jamie uh, Dixon maintains here with the Pitt Panthers. Last six years, Pitt is the Big East Conference winningest program. 69 wins in conference, 156 overall. That's impressive. That's what Jamie has done in conference play. Look at that, 70% topping Hall of Famer John Thompson, Jim Calhoun, Jim Beheim, and Luke Kornisaka. Elite company. It sure is. Over the last five years, Pitt's been won about 80% of their yeah, games, so it's like staggering. They're in the top five programs yeah. in the country with those numbers. Got another guy in the building who's uh, partially responsible for that. Now coaching at Manhattan, Barry Morrison. Recruited a lot, he's a Brooklyn guy, and recruited a lot of these uh, New York area players that played for the Pitt Panthers. Gaines down low, lost it. There's a look at Barry, now the head coach at Manhattan College. Last time I looked, his team uh, doing pretty well. They were a totally rebuilding club that uh, Bobby Gonzalez left him seven years as a Pitt assistant coach. And all the New Yorkers on this club, but in Pittsburgh, a lot of, you walk around Pittsburgh sometimes, you go to Pomani Brothers and get a, uh, get one of those big sandwiches and you hear somebody talking like they're from New York, but they are, because Barry <laughs> recruited them. His graves goes to the baseline. Ty scored 16. Great job by the Panthers to get right back. Yeah, a team that in the first three or four minutes, Seton Hall just jumped on them. Right? And then you re realize without Aaron Gray, they're still in, you know, not as good, but they're an eighth-ranked team in the country for a reason. Number three defensive team in the conference is Lang after missing a couple. Knocks one down. Only uh, Georgetown and West Virginia have better defensive numbers. Seton Hall back on top. Pitt looking to take the lead for the first time tonight. Here's Ramon. Graves to Benjamin. Benjamin, baseline jumper. Biggs jumped too soon. Yeah, he sure did, because he had terrific position on the weak side right. just then, didn't he? That he was inside just, clean. He just kept trying to keep himself, keep himself in the air, just couldn't do it. Turnover. Harvey got too deep. And That's right. a six turnover. Benjamin. We talked about before the game, right? Yeah, Benjamin just slid on him, too. Nice, yep. Yep, nice find there by Biggs also. Middle of the floor. Right. Works pretty nicely. Boy, you find that soft spot in the zone, just kill it. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's seven, eight-foot jumpers. If you can't, if you can't shoot that, if you don't want to shoot that, you should, should be up in the stands <laughs> watching. I was going to say, you're the wrong sport. Right, exactly. <laughs> you work so hard for that shot. So many kids pass it up when uh, they get it. Uh, it's St. John's Providence the other day. I bet I counted about eight shots at the dotted circle. They still have the circle They're of Providence. And guys, you turn it and shot down. I can't believe it. There's an air ball. Here comes Pitt again. Benjamin in a hurry. Cross court, Ramon. He'll tee it up from there. That's a three. Yes. First Pitt lead, 21-18. The way Ramon shoots it too, Dave, that's almost automatic when he gets the free look out there. Now, this is Pitt over the years, you know, since Allen got here now, continue, continue with Jamie. They strangled their defense. Nutter having a good night. Another three for Jamar Nutter. He's got nine on three threes. And that's a good answer for Seton Hall, too, just then, Dave, because, you know, you fight to get the lead then early on, and then Pitt comes back, and you start to think, hey, maybe they're better than we gave them credit for for the first four minutes of this game. But a good answer just then by Seton Hall to keep the rhythm going. Nice shooting with the threes, shooting all at 50%. Aaron Gray not playing tonight. Seton Hall's level down low. Biggs powered one home and scores. Boy, he's had a nice impact on this game. He's coming off the bench. He's got six. And they run Ramon off the baseline cut just then. And the guy who just buried a three the last trip down, everybody on Seton Hall starts to look for him. And that's when that slip becomes much more effective. 
Lang raises over, nothing doing there. Rebound Graves. Panthers run again. They swing it back the other way, Kendall. Notice the patience with the pit team, too. I mean, they'll wait it out, be patient with the ball, and they'll make that extra pass if they have to. And they're not playing hot potato. No, that's for sure. Graves baseline. Big, feeling it, nothing there. He was close. Harvey back the other way. Pittsburgh by two. Well, Harvey got greedy, that time tried to penetrate. To get a timeout, tie, tie up there, and that's gonna give the ball to Seton Hall. 5.51 to go, no grade tonight, but Pittsburgh's right back in this game. In fact, leading by two. Opportunity doesn't knock. Opportunity waits. Waits for people with the knowledge, experience, and talent to locate it. At Oppenheimer Funds, our investment teams have been creating value by finding hidden investment opportunities for over 45 years. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. Your love of lobster is about to be indulged in more ways than you can imagine. Lobster Fest is back at Red Lobster with new irresistible ways to love lobster. Like our new fire-grilled lobster shrimp and scallops topped in a zesty tequila lime sauce. Or give yourself the double decadence of succulent Maine and rock lobster tails. It's lobster all the ways you love it. Right now during Lobster Fest, only at Red Lobster. How's it going, Frank? How's it going, Frank? Everything's good. Everything's good. It's a great. It's easy to spot a DSL office. Get the speed you need with Comcast Workplace. It's way faster than DSL with McAfee Security and 24-hour business class support. Lasting four hours or more, consult your doctor. Did he just say four hours? That's ridiculous. Man, four hours is not a health warning, okay? It's a scheduling issue. <laughs> Carrie, hold my calls. Hold my mail. And why would you call your doctor? Send him a tip? <laughs> And if it lasts for four hours, a doctor will be the last. Holy. Well, Pittsburgh was a little shell-shocked at the beginning, but now the eighth-ranked Panthers, without their big guy in the middle, Aaron Gray, now have a 23-21 lead. Lance Fields coming back in, and you talked about the bench, Jim. And she's been outstanding tonight, 11 nothing edge. That's not even edge, that's a roll all over Seton Hall. It is, it is, Dave, and they're, and they're so consistent. You see the way they start to chip away. The shooting fairly good at both ends of the floor. Seton Hall having problems, though, with the turnovers. And that's what Pitt will do. They'll seal on you. But you look at that bench, you mentioned the bench points, 11-0. Over the last two years, you know, Pitt bench has outscored the opponents 46 out of 59 games. So they, they do it. <laughs> That'll keep you in the top ten. Oh, it sure will. Depth and productive at the same time. It's a nice combination. And then throw in the great defense that they've played over the years. So. The club they had a couple of years ago with uh, Siobhan Troutman and that crew. I always thought that club should have gone a lot farther than right. it did. And I know the Pittsburgh fans uh, lament that fact. That was a good-looking ball club that just pounded you and strangled you. Here's Fields to Graves, 13 shot clock. Under five and a half here in the first half. Panthers by two on the ball. It's a matchup zone that they're playing against, so they haven't really figured it out on this possession. Three, oh, through the hands of Graves and a fastball. That's the fourth turnover by the Panthers. Average just over 12 a game. You know, you have to make a decision against the matchup. It's got both components of a man-to-man -man defense and a zone defense. So you got to make a decision. Are we going to run our zone set or a man set and just go after them? There you go. Be decisive, right? Nutter, tough shot. And he hit it. Oh, he's, he's got good rhythm tonight. He got, has good rhythm, good elevation on his jumper. And that one, a little bit of a fade, which means you have to shoot the ball higher and further as you fade away from the bucket. He's got 11. 
We're tied again at 23. Good bigs, boy, they swarm on him. Man, man. That Three means, ties tonight. That means the corner, there you go, the corners are open. Can't beat that, just nope. lay it up and in. Yeah, get the ball to the middle, you get two or three guys coming at you, you gotta turn and release that ball, either left or right, it'll be open down on the baseline in the corners. Mike Cook, second leading scorer on the ball club. Panthers by two, under four and a half. Nutter goes to Gauze, far side. Good defensive stand by the Panthers. Stance. Nice look. Sure was. Larry Davis, reverse tip, no. And here comes Pittsburgh. Fields sets up Cook. Oh, Gauze got his hands on another. Are you kidding? Come <laughs> on. Amazing. Lang goes up with body control. Missed the shot, though. Saved by Biggs. And a hard ball by Lang. Panthers numbers. Pull up. Graves. That one won't go in a wipeout. Levance Fields. Curtis Shaw saw that one all the way. Levance Fields, boy, he just wedged this man into the first row. 350 to go first half, a timeout. Bobby Gonzalez agonizing, but he's only down two to the number eight team in the country. Financial Select Sector Spider. Visit us on the web at sectorspdrf.com or call 1 800 the Amex now. I'm a Mecca Okafor, college graduate, Charlotte Bobcat, and proud recipient of the Aeropost Style Big E Scholar Athlete of the Year. Graduating with a 3.76 GPA and a degree in finance in three years, I balance books and basketball. Aeropost Style gives out more than $300,000 in scholarships to both students and student athletes. It wasn't and still isn't all about the rebounds. Now it's Reckie's in front, left it on the same rebound, score! Sidney Crosby ties the game! With Top notch points. talent and heart pounding highlights. Experience the evolution of Penguins hockey. Jordan Stahl from in front of the net. The Penguins and Flyers are set for a Sunday afternoon showdown at Mellon Arena on March 4th. It's going to be the toughest ticket in town. The, the Penguins square off with the Sabres on March 13th. Every fan's a winner with Get Go Scratch and Win. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. President's Day only comes once a year. And to celebrate, Chevy has some commanding offers with great deals on almost every 07. The Chevy President's Day sale. Hurry, five days only, then this term ends. Non-GM owners and lessees can get $2,500 total cash back on a 2007 Chevy Impala. See for yourself. Shop and compare at PACHevyDeals.com. Well, what was uh, once a 10-point Seton Hall lead is now a Pittsburgh advantage by two. The eighth-ranked team in the country taking control here. Dave Sims and Jim Spinarco with him. Pittsburgh, you got to like the way they grind it out here to get back in this game and take control of it. They do it at both ends of the floor, too. They close, they seal on you at the defensive end, and I like the, the judgments that they make coming down the floor. If they have the fast break, they'll go and get it. If not, they settle it down, make an extra pass, look to the middle of the floor, and then to the baseline. I think that last set was a pretty good one for them. Very impressive. Uh, and also, coming off the bench, they bring a legion of players off the bench, as they have done the last few years. Here's a look at what Pittsburgh has done, winning at the right time. Look at that, 13 of 15, an RPI of four. They were picked preseason favorites in the Big East, and they've got, uh, they're the last unbeaten team in the country on the road, 5-0. Florida was the other last unbeaten, remaining last uh, unbeaten team in a row, but they were knocked off over the weekend at Vanderbilt. Here's Harvey with Gauze, Nutter, who shot the ball very well. Shot an air ball, but didn't mean to put the jinx on him there. And what do we got? We got a foul on the play. It's gonna go against Sam Young. That'll be his first. And team foul number five. Three fouls and team fouls for Seton Hall. Nutter with Davis, Gauze, 
Lang, boy, they're going real small and hard. They are very small feet. Tough shot, quick rebound. Yeah, you wonder where they're going to get their offensive glass work, and they got to worry about the defensive side with the rebounding at the same time. Fields knocked away. There's another steal by Seton Hall. It wasn't Dawes again getting his hand on the ball, was it? <laughs> when it down. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It is. Boy, Lang, no oh, rebound, goes to Sam Young. Boy, Harvey must not have a lot of confidence in that jumper because I think he's trying to penetrate every possession. Ramon off a deep curl. Oh, he went glass. Well, I want to catch a look at Ramon's face. Is he smiling? Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe a little bit over there. But Jamie Dixon's saying, I don't care how they go in. You can put bank it in all you want. Wow. Well, I guess he figured he had to get more legs under it. Right? <laughs> Biggest lead enjoyed by fifth foot turnover. Here come the Panthers again. Looks like a jailbreak. Five on two. Sam Young back to Ramon. I think you got to get something out of a five on two, don't you, Dave? Go to the line. Panthers by five, approaching two minutes. Yeah, but the good teams figure out if we don't have the good luck, even though you have to try to make it happen. No glass this time by yeah. Ramon. Dawes will bring it up for Seton Hall. Ahead to Lang. Lang shooting three for seven, three for eight. A lot of one and done. Yes. Well, with the size, they, they're getting a lot of mileage off the dribble, but they're not getting to the offensive glass. Fields, back rim, and moving pick. Things on Kendall. Yep, wasn't set. Coming up on the Big East Halftime Report, we're going to bring you the Big East Wire. Take a look at the Oppenheimer Funds, Big East Coaches Spotlight, and first half highlights and stats from here at the Continental Airlines Arena. So Kendall with the foul. How about Seton Hall struggling now, missing its last six shots. Once had a 10-point lead at 14-4 with a blistering start. But Pittsburgh has come back. And again without their big man in the middle. And there's a steal, Sam Young. Showtime, stand by. <laughs> Show me something. <laughs> Brother. In, not even in my dreams can I do that anymore. Good God yeah. Almighty. That's yeah, impressive. 7-0. We want to hit one out of Yankee Stadium and crush one like that. Man, go out there and stand over there underneath that basket mm -hmm. and jump over mm -hmm. you. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, that was a nice elevation, that wasn't was it? That terrific. <laughs> Fade away, Nutter. Another one and done. And when you see it all living on that jumper now, Dave, they got to start thinking about going towards the basket. And they started out shooting the ball well. You just cannot rely on it against a team like Pitt that reacts well. Pittsburgh in the final 30 seconds, down low Cook, and Gauze had a hold. Didn't think Jamie Lucky saw it. He had that little sly yeah. offhand hold. Yeah, that foul's okay there because they're under the limit, so, but here we go on the upstairs and finish. <laughs> Guess who his favorite player is? <laughs> Thought that dunk looked kind of yeah, familiar. Yeah, sure did. Seton Hall shooting 10 of 26. Whoa. Somebody lost their gum. Or not, it was actually something off the finger. Seton Hall still has only 14 fouls, Dave, so if they get into trouble, they can grab. They just don't want to do it when somebody's shooting a three or driving to the hoop. Get a pick. Sets up Biggs, top of the key jumper. Nothing there. And Harvey's got to let it rip. It'll count. And it's a biggie, that goes down. Bill will review that, but that baby was off in plenty of time. A lot of guys don't take these shots, and it drives me to crazy, Dave, with the second or two guys. But here he gets a good lift. See, shot in the air. He got two tenths of a second left, and bingo. Hall had missed its last seven consecutive shots. <laughs> before that one. That's the one you didn't practice on. Hey, we're going to run extra laps or sprints? If I were Bobby Gonzalez, I'd run that in the first play at the end of the <laughs> beginning of the second half. <laughs> <laughs> <Why not? laughs> 
<laughs> Four point lead. Turn for eight Pittsburgh. Run it again. <laughs> College basketball fans, get ready for the 2007 Big East Women's Basketball Championship presented by Arrow Postal. March 3rd through the 6th at the Hartford Civic Center in Hartford, Connecticut. See 12 of the top Big East women's basketball teams battle for the Big East Championship Tournament title. Ticket packages are just $99 for all sessions. For tickets and more information, call 860-525-4500. That's 860-525-4500 or log on to Ticketmaster.com. Nissans in one single event. That means record-breaking deals on high-performing Nissans. Lease the Nissan Pathfinder or Murano. Your choice, $299 per month. 100,000 Nissans in one event. So, ladies and gentlemen, get to your Nissan dealer now and start your savings. The road of tomorrow is being created today. From tires that help make your car more fuel efficient and safer to earth-friendly production and recycling methods, Michelin is striving to help you find a better way forward. Michelin, a better way forward. You get just 24 hours every day to work towards your goals. Just 24 hours to get one step closer to your dreams. And at PNC, we're always searching for ways to help. To give you solutions designed to uncomplicate your life. So you can navigate the next 24 hours. PNC, leading the way. President's Day only comes once a year. And to celebrate, Chevy has some commanding offers with great deals on almost every 07. The Chevy President's Day sale. Hurry, five days only, then this term ends. Non-GM owners and lessees can get $1,500 total cash back on a 2007 Chevy Cobalt Coupe. See for yourself. Shop and compare at PACHevyDeals.com. Well, number eight, Pittsburgh was down by 10 in the early going, but they've stormed back 30 to 26 here at halftime at the Continental Airlines Arena. Big East Wire. And let's take a look at the RPI of the Big East teams and the Big East well represented. I think experience is, you know, is the key thing that always plays a factor in, you know, the championship team because when you're experienced, you know how to collaborate more and the chemistry is, is better when, when you have so many uh, different guys coming back. Uh, we have so many weapons. We have so much talent, so much experience, you know. Uh, uh, we, have, we have a great coach with a, a great coaching staff, you know, the uh, all the players have a lot of confidence in. The best part about it is we just have a bunch of guys that want to win. And we got a lot of, uh, you know, a good mix of young guys and experienced guys and, uh, you know, a lot of different looks. And you know, we got big guys inside, we got guards that can play, and then we got guys that can back them off and bring completely different looks. So I think it's a lot of matchup problems with our team. It's an honor to, you know, be able to be a part of a team like this. So it's a, it's a great, it's a great thing. And, and we look at it as a challenge, you know, just, to, you know, we know we have a lot of guys coming after us, and we just have to be ready and, and step up to the challenge. Well, that was a good look at the seniors for the Pittsburgh Panthers talking about what makes them so good. And here are the RPI uh, rankings of the Big East teams. It's a good looking group. And now, uh, does it help? How, how well, much does that bode well for uh, March Madness? Uh, I think it, it bodes very, very well for the conference. I think the only problem with it is, you know, you have teams like Look at the last one, DePaul, for a second. Are they going to really, over the next couple of games, make that move up a notch or two in the Big East standings? But you have these teams right here that, you know, looking at it coming into tonight, all of these teams have good records. They all have solid wins in the conference, and obviously the RPI does factor into the whole equation for them. Take a look at the standings as we entered tonight. Pittsburgh at 10-2, trying to hold off 
Georgetown, which has won nine consecutive games. And the Georgetown Hoyas, boy, they're playing some good basketball, as are the Louisville Cardinals. Marquette locked up with uh, Villanova this evening. And West Virginia, another 20-win season for John Beeline and his crew. And on the second page, you see why this game's so critical to Seton Hall. Uh, they do not want to solidify their self, uh, themselves in a Final Four at the bottom of the Big East Conference because that means they don't go, come to New York City for the Big East Tournament. And Connecticut, look at Connecticut on the edge there as well. That's a team that was a hair breadth away from the uh, Final Four a year ago when it was upset by George Mason. Well, you, you look at the significance, though, Dave, just something simple, too. Connecticut has five wins. If Seton Hall gets one here, they get the four. So if not, they still had two wins to make up to catch Connecticut. Seton Hall with three games remaining. Here's a look at tonight's scoreboard. Ten-point lead for Marquette out of Milwaukee. Scotty Reynolds, though, is certainly producing for the Wildcats with 21 points. Take a timeout and continue with halftime from Continental Airlines Arena with the number eight ranked Pittsburgh Panthers hold a four point lead here at Seton Hall. Every child has the potential to do something great. That's why PNC has pledged over $100 million to a program that prepares young children for school. It's called Grow Up Great, and it's helping kids do just that. PNC, leading the way. I wanted to build my future. At the University of Pittsburgh, I learned with the best students. Pitt students win top national and international scholarships, and Pitt's alumni they receive the world's top prizes. Pitt's athletes are among the best ever, and Pitt's ranked in the top 20 national public universities. At school, people build their future. At Pitt, we're building our future together. Sandwiches for four dollars at Arby's. Where are my keys? Here they are. Get dressed. Let's go. Arby's two fish sandwiches for four dollars. Crispy, flaky fish with classic tartar sauce, or introducing our new spicy Cajun tartar sauce. They'll have you saying, "I'm thinking Arby's." Each patient creates our drive to live and work by the highest standards. Caring, combined with clinical excellence, supports the promise of a healthier future. UPMC. One, 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 one. Everybody, it's halftime. Big East basketball. The Pittsburgh Panthers, number eight this week, taking on the Seton Hall Pirates. Tonight's Big East Coaches Spotlight is brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds. And right now, let's take a closer look at Jamie Dixon, the Pittsburgh head coach. He's in his fourth year, and look at what he's produced to this point. The highest winning percentage among active Big East coaches. First coach in school history with 20-plus wins in four consecutive seasons. And only Mark Few of Gonzaga and Roy Williams of North Carolina have a bit better winning percentage among active coaches. That is very impressive. Congratulations to Jamie Dixon. This Big East Coaches Spotlight has been brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds. Oppenheimer Funds is proud to be the official mutual funds of the Big East Conference. We'll continue with more from the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Big East Basketball, Seton Hall in Pittsburgh, right after these messages.
Utility Select Sector Spider. Visit us on the web at sectorspdrs.com or call 1-800-THE-AMEX now. Join us on a remarkable journey. Follow us by connecting the dots. It's easy. Explore our campus in South Orange, New Jersey. Challenge your mind with new concepts, new ideas. Open your heart to the world around you. Engage your spirit in life's deeper meaning. Seton Hall. Make us your home for your mind, your heart, and your spirit. Seton Hall University. At this very second, the available 4MATIC all-wheel drive system is sensing wheel slip. It automatically maintains constant wheel speed to help eliminate the loss of traction. At Mercedes-Benz, we have a firm grip on winter weather. 4MATIC all-wheel drive. Available in seven Mercedes-Benz model lines. Sometimes a doctor will refer patients to their own or their hospital's physical therapy clinic. Always remember, you have the freedom and the right to choose the physical therapist that you want. For clinical excellence, high quality service, and professionalism, choose the Panther. Panther Physical Therapy, 800-908-4090. If you're not getting therapy from the Panther, you're not getting the best physical therapy available. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. President's Day only comes once a year. And to celebrate, Chevy has some commanding offers with great deals on almost every 07. The Chevy President's Day sale. Hurry, five days only, then this term ends. Non-GM owners and lessees can get $1,500 total cash back on a 2007 Chevy Cobalt Coupe. See for yourself. Shop and compare at PACHevyDeals.com. Pittsburgh by four here at halftime. Continental Airlines are into the site for Biggie's basketball this evening. As the Pittsburgh Panthers try to continue their hot streak of late. Dave Sims, Jim Spinarco with you. Gotta like the way Pittsburgh came back from being down right. four. Seton Hall came out, shot the ball very effectively, very loosely, and then Pittsburgh all of a sudden went, nah, 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 we've had enough of that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna look for you, we're gonna find the perimeters <laughs> then, and then all of a sudden when you start to slice and try to put the ball on the floor, we're gonna squeeze on you. So Pitt did a nice job there. A big shot there by Eugene Harvey at the end of that half, though, to close a seven-pointer to four. Sure enough, let's take a look at some of those highlights. Remember, Pittsburgh playing without Aaron Gray, out with an ankle injury. And Seton Hall started off, Dave, as we've touched on, shooting the ball well. Nutter from the outside. Nutter with a nice little baseline jumper and fade on that shot. And, you know, you look at Seton Hall overall with Lang shooting the ball just then. Another little fade away. So one of the things they have to start mixing up is the drives and also the jumpers. But there's that baseline cut. Good delivery along the baseline for Cook. And then with the steals, they have the opportunity to go up and down. Graves finishing that one off. So Pitt working the seams and here comes the fun one right here bang finish it off take a look at some of the numbers through 20 minutes pittsburgh shooting the ball considerably better bench points that's huge 14 nil points in the paint an advantage to pittsburgh and neither team really getting to the line at all we shall take a break and we shall return pittsburgh Having won six of seven, 13 of 15, going against Seton Hall. I'm a Mecca Okafor, college graduate, Charlotte Bobcat, and proud recipient of the Aeropostale Big E Scholar Athlete of the Year. Graduating with a 3.76 GPA and a degree in finance in three years, I balance books and basketball. Aeropostale gives out more than $300,000 in scholarships to both students and student athletes. It wasn't and still isn't all about the rebounds. You know, when you're a, someone who's looking forward to a challenge each night, you know you, you're going to have to execute in the final two minutes to win the game. That's the ultimate in competition. It's never an easy game. I mean, we've won by 18, and afterwards, I, I, I <laughs> that was tough. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary as a coach to approach because there are no easy nights. It's, it's almost like the NBA. You just know it's going to come down to a last possession. you got to get a stop. It makes you a better player, makes you a better team. It's always been competitive, it always will be. The sky is perfect blue, no cloud could fall of you. It's a sign from above that shows that we're in love.
Every child has the potential to do something great. That's why PNC has pledged over $100 million to a program that prepares young children for school. It's called Grow Up Great, and it's helping kids do just that. PNC, leading the way. At Bob Sedney Automotive, we are focused on one thing. People, without them, we don't work. That's why we believe. People come first, not the cars, not the service. But it's the people that have been depending on Bob Sedney for over 35 years. Real people like me. Me. And me. Four-point lead for Pittsburgh as we are about to start the second half. Panthers will get the ball in our Star Watch update. Both guys with six points. Lang, I believe, hit his first two or three and has struggled since then. Ramon hit a deep one off a curly, banked it in, which is impressive. One of his field goals. There's Ramon, hit part of that 14-0 pit bench performance tonight. Pitt trying to take the ball out of bounds at the half. Pittsburgh is going to get the ball, so did they. They tried to sell oh, it. Yeah, it didn't they work. Sold, they sold it for a while there. Yeah, they certainly did. <laughs> hey, let's make a deal. You give us the ball first. All right. I guess they're not going to run Eugene Harvey to half court, Dave. Shoot <laughs> the ball. There it is. Oh, there goes uh. your contribution to the game plan tonight. Back it up. <laughs> You're just joining us, <laughs> Eugene Harvey. Good presence of mind, was aware of the clock, and hit a runner right in front of us, mid-court. Big three-pointer. Gaines, back to Nutter, tough shot. Kept alive by Fields, but Harvey runs it down. Sets up Gauz, that's a three. Won't go in Kendall with a rebound, Levine doing a nice job. Wow, what a pass, Gauz almost got a piece of it. Good long layup, dunk! Well, that second one was a good pass too, wasn't it? Two guys come right to his chest. Great release there by Young to finish. 17-14, Pittsburgh on the boards at halftime. Six-point lead. Gaines comes to set a pick. Harvey, is he taking, ex with the exception of that runner to end the first half, is he taking any other jumpers? I, I, don't, yeah, I don't remember. And they're clogging on him every time he puts it on the floor. They get the foul this time on uh, Mike Cook. That'll be his second. And when you have those shots by guards in the corner, sometimes you really don't have the balance. And look at Gauss trying to get back, and that was a terrific release pass by Mike Cook just then. Seton Hall's lost seven consecutive conference games. They did one, uh, get one win in that little stretch there. Beat Princeton as Lang gets a flush. Now one of the things about Lang just then, Dave, he's really worked himself into a position to get on the inside there to catch it and deliver it quickly. So. I like the thought process. Seton Hall has to do a little bit more of that. I know Pitt is very good at the weak side help, but Seton Hall has to continue to try to drive it and push it down deep. Eight for Lang, and a foul off of the ball. And they get Paul Gauze, a little activity off the ball. Uh, as Gaines with a nice setup. And you see how Lang got in front of Cook there to be able to get between the defender and the ball to allow for an easy catch. And last foul was Gauze's third, so he'll take a seat. They bring in Larry Davis, number 35. That was the leading steel man in the Big East. Uh, racked up his three in the first half. Well, that brought rain. Levance Field got his feet under him nicely. Brings that ball back behind his head, too, doesn't Slingshot. he? Slingshot, yeah. Yep. It looks like something that hadn't changed much since the CYO days. He's probably a little guy, right? <laughs> so he can get it off. 35-28, Pittsburgh. It's a guy who spent time playing against a lot of tall guys. Yeah. Brooklyn, New York, wanted to play. Nutter sets up Harvey, gonna take it all the way in. No. Kept alive, and Cook had it, he got fouled. So yeah, Harvey Larry usually, Davis. He usually finishes those, doesn't he, Harvey, when yep. he goes to the basket like that? That was a terrific drive by him. Exactly what Seton Hall is trying to do to get the ball going towards the hoop. 
First foul on Larry Davis. Second team foul. Revisit that free throw. Not that many. Two for two. Pittsburgh 0 for one. For Pitt. See them all in the first half. Davis just picked up his second. John Garcia will come back into the game. He started tonight. Front court uh, an issue for Seton Hall. Down a man, Grant Billmeyer, with a shredded uh, ACL. And he's done for the season. Not much of a score, but you know, it gives you the five fouls. Big body, 6'10, 6'11 kid. One of the tri captains. Down low, Kendall. Oh, oh man, no foul. Oh, it's Toledo. <laughs> Play on. Almost a double dribble, and there it was. Curtis Shaw caught it. Yep. Lang knew it if he touched it again. He tried to make it a pass. There's Bill Meyer, one of the captains on the ball club, tri captains of the club. Hurt himself not too long ago against Providence. Started 14 in the first 17 games. Sam Young's got it. Here's Cook. Kendall, 35 28, Pittsburgh. Braves the field. A lot of patience here by Pittsburgh. Yep, I don't know if it's patience right now or not really having the activity to do something with it. Sam Young, that was kept alive by Kendall. Yeah, see there, I think there, Dave, there was like, granted that was patient offense. It mm -hmm. may have been too patient yeah. offense. Yeah, they had a really good attack move in the first half, a little short. Garcia layup off the rebound. Garcia. John Garcia with six points, his first bucket here in the second half. Yeah, Bobby Gonzalez tried going with a smaller half, a smaller lineup to begin the second half and realizes that, you know, he's got to get Garcia his minutes. Keep an eye on him with the, uh, make sure he's, you know, getting ready for extended minutes, but space him out a little bit if need be. Garcia with a career high five rebounds. Down low, Kendall, good up fake. Lay up and in. That's just your basic basketball right there. You turn, you show the ball, you get a defender to move against you, get him off his feet, and then just flip yourself back towards the basket, use the other hand. That was well, well done. Seven points. Pittsburgh lead right now. Lang trying to shake free, gain setting a pick. Pittsburgh doing a great job keeping the, uh, the, three, the big three guys, Nutter, Harvey, and Lang, finishing. Kendall hedges out. Good east to west hedge there to get him going. Gaines. Wow. Stan Gaines, his eighth three of the season. He's now eight for 17. I'll tell you what, he is a good workman like player. Six points, four rebounds. Knows what he can do, knows what he right, can't do. Exactly. And, and when he gets into foul trouble, it, it really hurts Seton Hall, too. So the more minutes that they can keep games on the floor, the better at the defensive and the rebounding side of the equation, too. He's the kind of guy, if you had a couple of stars in the front court, he'd be a great seventh, eighth man. You know, yeah. front, front court guy to bring off the bench for 10, 15 minutes. Young down the lane, runner. No. Tip. Kendall's good. Kendall has slid to that post position to five. Boy, Harvey in a hurry. What a counter. Is there a goal 10? Let's see if they get a goal 10. Foul. Uh, yeah, I don't was think on that fields. Yeah, that There's was on no goal 10. They're going to check it, but we'll take a break. 14 31. 39 33. Pittsburgh in charge. Sometimes just getting to retirement seems impossible. That's where we come in. As the nation's 401k leader, the principal offers many simple ways to plan for retirement, making it easier for you to get where you're going. The Principal Financial Group. 
we'll give you an edge. Hey, guy from work, I don't really know. I don't know your name, so uh, I'll just call you a dude. To be polite, I'll talk to you, but I really just want to eat my breakfast. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I don't hear a word you're saying. So I'm going to look at my watch, act like I'm late. Hey, well, hope I don't see you later. Me too. Who has time to talk when McDonald's has a delicious breakfast sandwich for every taste? Bagels, biscuits, McMuffin and McGriddle sandwiches. And there's premium roast coffee in smooth or bold blends. One, 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 one. They'll pit up six right now. They're getting a little bit of a post play. You look on the right side of the floor, underneath the basket, you have LeVon Kendall, and he's going to work his way along the bottom of the baseline and catch it right there. Now he shows the ball, and then at the same time, he comes away and gets a defender, Garcia, on his back and uses the inside hand, the left hand, to finish off the play. So a couple of basic moves right there. Well done with the set. Anytime you want to get to a spot on the floor, Dave, the best thing to do is go away from the spot that you want to get to because you set your defender up and get him leaning. Kendall on the night, 10 points and five rebounds, and he's part of the reason why Pittsburgh has a 24-14 advantage in the paint tonight. So Eugene Harvey, they're going to build this program around him here at Seton Hall. Leads all Big East rookie scores, three times Big East rookie of the week. Late signee by Bobby Gonzalez when he took over. Freshman out of Brooklyn, went to St. Benedict's in New Jersey. Having a good year, seventh in scoring, fifth in minutes, 11th in assists, and seventh in free throw shooting at 83%. Comes out full court action. Biggs in the game, had a fine first 20 minutes off the bench. Here's Ramon, gets it to Graves. Biggs. Back to Ramon. So Ramon, Kendall, Benjamin's in the game. Biggs in the game, along with Antonio Graves. You can see Jamie Dixon right up, right along the coaching bench over there. That play got a little out of control. He jumped right up as the guy slowed us down. Looks good handling it from the hand check there by Harvey sure out front. But Jamie Dixon said, hey, slow it down. Let's get the right set. Let's get the right shot. First foul on Harvey. That would have worked on uh, what, West 4th Street. Yeah, exactly. Call, you, call your own. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Ramon. He's pretty good with the basketball, too. I mean, using that little left to right shake on. West 4th Street, we refer to the famous Greenwich Village. Teeny court where there's been some serious basketball over the years, over a couple of generations. Kendall turns it over. Nutter back the other way. He'll shoot two. Good challenge there by Nutter going the length of the floor with the ball. And anytime Seton Hall has this opportunity, I think that's exactly what they need to do. Just continue to attack. Good work there by using his body to initially bump up and graze up against Graves and force the action. Make sure you get to the free throw line, worst case. The Jamar Nutter. Good shooter, 12 points a game. Only shooting 33% coming in. Good free throw shooter at 77%. Well, here's Seton Hall right back in the ball game here. Pittsburgh had a nice lead, and uh, the crowd here, not a big crowd by any stretch of the imagination, but their interest is peaked here as the Seton Hall's only down by two. Now let's remember, without Aaron Gray, this is with or without, they're still an eighth-ranked team in the country. So if you get your chances to knock them off, you got to go after it big time. Nice shake, no Benjamin. Anybody see the ball? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's uh, why the timeout was called. Actually, it was Jamie Dixon. I think he wants to get that the timeout called by Pittsburgh. So maybe uh, Jamie Dixon hoping that will be the spark. Certainly, nobody did see the ball there. I mean, wow. <laughs> nobody there. <laughs> Jamie.
Challenge doesn't build character. It reveals it. Through the market's ups and downs, Oppenheimer Funds has proven we have what it takes to keep moving forward. Just one reason why Barron's has recognized Oppenheimer Funds for having some of the top portfolio managers in the business. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. Invoke the rich tapestry of love and devotion. Promote the sweet saccharin of all that devotion. Passion comes in many colors. The Pontiac Solstice. Remember Isley's Old Fashioned Baked Deli Ham? It's back, baked in its own natural juices for the true Isley's Baked Ham taste you remember. At a nice price. Remember Isley's. Ask for it at your supermarket deli. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. President's Day only comes once a year. And to celebrate, Chevy has some commanding offers with great deals on almost every 07. The Chevy President's Day sale. Hurry, five days only, then this term ends. Non-GM owners and lessees can get $1,500 total cash back on a 2007 Chevy Cobalt Coupe. See for yourself. Shop and compare at PACHevyDeals.com. What's this generation coming to? Same great deli taste that's wowed them for generations past. Isley's original chip chopped ham. Fresher, leaner, hammier. Remember Isley's. Ask for it now at your supermarket deli. Good looking evening here in the New York metro area. 4137 Pittsburgh, the eighth ranked team in the country, playing without their big guy, Aaron Gray, out with an ankle injury. Trying to hold off Seton Hall, which is. Built up a pretty good challenge the last few minutes, but one thing for sure about this game, Pittsburgh's bench dominating. Ramon with six, Biggs with six, and Benjamin with fours. We look at our select stats brought to you by Select Sector Spiders. That's impressive. It is, and that's something they've done very well. As mentioned in the first half, they've done that consistently over the last two years. And it's always nice to be able to put guys on the floor who come off the bench, but you know they're gonna give you production. I mean, there's no substitution for it because it all adds up to consistency. When you get that off the bench, that's a huge plus. Tyrell Biggs, you saw him coming in. Lost 20 pounds since a year ago. Averaging just under four points, two rebounds. Nutter off the curl, fires one up, in and out, rebound Biggs. Kendall. Ramon beats the post. Biggs working down low. Benjamin wide open. Ooh, shot an air ball. Yay. Let's get that spot on the floor. We'll hear about that on the bus ride home. So back to the hotel. Notice the four guys in the paint basically for Pitt right now. The ball's on the right side. Look at the collapse. There's the help. We got a foul, says Les Jones. That was a good example, though, the way they squeeze you from the yep. uh, weak side. They get bigs on the Fowlers. The final Marquette, a home win against Villanova. So with the win, Marquette goes to 9 and 5 in the Big East Conference. And Villanova drops to 6 and 7. And there's still four, four or five teams in the middle of the pack there that really aren't sure which way they want to go yet. Yeah. Then it's getting too late for that, though, isn't it? Marquette's nine and five. West Virginia eight and five. DePaul seven and six. And a lot of action coming up tomorrow. DePaul at Notre Dame. West Virginia problems. They push the five count. Now a timeout called by Jamie Dixon. It was close. It sure was. Good call by Jamie back there. I, I like that rule that the coach uh, can call a timeout. Yeah, I do too. I mean, it's uh, they're involved with it. Why not? It's just. Uh, it throws you though. I'm still not used to 100%. Right? Like you hear the whistle and you say, "Well, what happened just then?" You anticipated. I did the same thing. I, I was leaning towards a five-second call, and then all of a sudden you look at Jamie Dixon. He recognized what was going on. Yeah, the guys are in deep trouble. Let's take a look at the standings. 
updated to the second here. You see Marquette in fourth place. Louisville's been coming on. We talked about Georgetown. Georgetown's won nine consecutive games. They play at Pitt on the 24th. They're at Syracuse on the 26th and Connecticut on the third. Seton Hall with its remaining games, South Florida at Cincinnati and at Louisville. Here's what's at stake. Top seed, Big East Tournament. And a bid for Seton Hall trying to get to the Big East Tournament. Here are a lot of people around the country say, hey, you should invite everybody. But there are reasons that it puts just a, a higher premium on the whole thing you have regular season games. You better win if you want to come to New York City play in the tournament. And you certainly can debate the positive and the negatives of that. Here's Dawes almost got another steal. Kendall, I don't think that was for him. Kendall's having a nice game. He's got a season high 12. I guess it would uh, probably stretch it out too, right? An extra day, which right. was difficult to do with three on the shot clock. Right. Fields runner, tough shot. No, Kendall. Keep it right here. Kendall went up with one arm extended because he was being held down with his <laughs> right arm. I know Mike Trangisi's always said we don't want our champion to have to play five games in a week. Yeah, exactly. 45 to go here in the second half. It's a two-point lead for the Pitt Panthers. Eighth rank nationally as of today. When you start a business, you're investing your heart and soul. Which is why at PNC, we're always looking for ways to help. So you can be smarter, faster, and more competitive. Turning your dreams into reality. PNC, leading the way. And proud to be ranked highest in customer satisfaction. If you want to make your hard-earned dollar go a whole lot farther, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has the low prices guaranteed to save you money. Get ready to get the best price possible on all the parts and accessories you need with our ready-to-go low price guarantee. Nobody can beat our prices on just about anything for your car. So when you want to get more for your money while getting more out of your car, get to Advance Auto Parts for our everyday ready-to-go low price guarantee. Ready. set for a Sunday afternoon showdown at Bellin Arena on March 4th. It's going to be the toughest ticket in town. The Penguins square off with the Sabres on March 13th. Every fan's a winner with get-go scratch and win. Seton Hall hanging around here against eighth-ranked Pittsburgh Panthers 41-39 at the 11:30-45 mark as we take a look at our Red Lobster nothing but net shot of the game. No more calls. We have a winner. Check this out. It ended the first half. It did not take a whole lot of time to figure out who, who won the prize. Eugene Harvey going deep as time expired in the first half. We got a couple of looks at it. Bang. Nothing but net. Lobster looking good on that one, huh? Set the table. Well, here's the big three for Seton Hall. What they've done to this point. That's about 43 points in the per night. On the ball club that is the number four scoring team in the Big East. Fields with Ramon Benjamin. Biggs and Kendall up front for Pittsburgh. Somebody's open. Two guys came from Ramon. 15 shot clock. Benjamin shot an air ball left corner last time he touched it. Ramon wanted it. Tough shot. He hit it. Oh, was it ever a tough well, shot? You know, the thing about it is they're so patient. They make you play defense for almost the entire shot clock. But what it tells you is that you have to play it for the entire 35 because they are so patient with the basketball. Harvey 
And they slice through. Nicely done. They know to shut down the avenue every time he puts it on the floor. Yeah, not only did he slice through, Dave, but how high on the glass did he have to go to get that shot to just trickle down off the glass? Two on two, Ramon being harassed by Harvey. Start the offense with Fields. They do kill a lot of pop. Yep, they? they sure do. There we go. Matter, rarely in panic mode. And they come back and they play lockdown defense for the most part. I mean, that's been their trademark. Yeah. Hard to believe that they get the 72 points on average per night also, yeah. you know. Two on the shot. Cut. Gauze got his hands on it. And Gauze yeah. caused that turnover with another deflection. He never let Ramon get to a position where he could actually make a basketball play. And that's just a test. And I say that in a positive oh, sense absolutely. with Gauze. Well, last that week, when I was up in Connecticut, we had the game, I said, you know, and when, if you look at him, you wouldn't bring a two by four to get him off you. Right, exactly. <laughs> he's he's all point. over you. I mean, and he's the kind of guy you want on your ball club. Yep. And if he's on the other club, you love to hate him because yeah. he's relentless. Take that two by four and like slap it against his ankle. <laughs> just stand still, first of all. Man, he's got unbelievable reach. Lang backing in. Nutter. Get it back to Lang. Everybody trying to create, whoa, that's a great long reach by Gauze. Former running back, they'll shoot a couple. Outstanding all-star running back in the state of New Jersey. Long Gauze out of Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Yeah, it was just one of those passes that when it comes to, now he finishes the slice through the middle of the lane, but that initial read and catch, sometimes when you're playing basketball, you have to stop the ball with your hand rather than worry about catching it. And that was one of those. Just get your hand on it, slow it down, and then regather. Gauz at 69%. A bad trip there for Gauz. Not been many free throws this season. Lance Fields down the lane, knocked away by Harvey. Keep it right here, pit ball. Pittsburgh two for two at the line and Seton Hall six for nine. And both teams are just you know, five fouls right now on the team side. Braves, no, and Cook wins that battle down low. Pass the ball to Young. He'll shoot for the three-point play. Oh, is that ever a good decision by Cook, huh? Yeah, that was good. That was really Aaron smart. Gray, standing there, the big fella. He'd love to be in this game right now. Well, That's he, some smart hoops there. Yeah, you talk about it. Look at him. Nobody's boxing him out for openers. And he gets the ball. And watch how guys close on him. So he says, I can't shoot the ball here. But he makes a, what about a two-foot pass across over to Young to make his life a little easier. First free throw this half for Pittsburgh. Two for two in the first half. Four points. They cannot get, shake themselves from the Seton Hall ball game. Yeah, the off, off the ball defense is very good on top of the on top of the ball man to man defense with the ball. Gaines jump ball. Oh, in and out. Oh, that hurt. It sure did. How does that one not stay down? Fields. Down low. Young got it in another three point opportunity. Sam Young into the starting lineup. In place of the injured Aaron Gray, they move LeVon Kendall over to the center spot. And Bobby Gonzalez calling a timeout because yeah. they've run the same thing basically the last two times. This is a guy that, you know, when you look at Young, watch him come to the ball. You see him come to the ball just then to avoid Nutter trying to steal it. That's a guy that a guard will want to pass the ball into. A guy, even if you make a like a lazy type pass, you know, a guy like Young is going to come after it and make up for your mistake. So you give it to him and he'll go get it. Already surpassed his average. Golf fans, but pros, it's not too early to start thinking about the 2007 ESPN National Golf Challenge. Log on to ESPNGolf.com to register your team or to sign your course up as a qualifying site. Be part of the search for America's best twosome. Speaking of golf, I bet Mickelson blowing that opportunity Ooh. yesterday. Phil had that tournament to wrap up. See you later, and you. Howell. Howell made a couple of good putts, too, in the playoff. And he had, like, uh, big time. Yeah. I, I read the paper today. It was the winner. He said a quick prayer. It's a 
the time is right for this to go in now. <laughs> yeah, he had a whole bunch of nine second place yeah. uh, first yeah, number did, last yeah. year to a couple of years. Six point the lead now, make that seven points the lead for Pittsburgh. Big East action, glad you could join us from Continental Airlines Arena, East Rutherford, New Jersey, along with Jim Spinarco, I'm Dave Sims. 9.01 to go, the oh. pace has just been not real good here in the second half. And look at the dominance by Pittsburgh, 18 nil off the bench. Now granted, Seton Hall playing shorthanded, they only have nine players. Off the curl, Harvey down low in traffic, bought a foul there. Take a timeout, 8.55 to go. 55 to go. Keep it right here as Harvey goes to the line. Seventh and three free throw shooting. He's out of Brooklyn, we mentioned. 16 points a game, 83% of the line. He had 19 points and four rebounds in the game Saturday at West Virginia. A loss to the 23rd, then 23rd ranked Mountaineers. Uh, make uh, the free throw line, allow Seton Hall to look for full court action, looking for some traps. There's one there, good release over the middle. Almost a walk here for the Seton Hall fans calling for travel. 8.40 to go, <laughs> so up top. See Harvey, Harvey stopped. He thought the whistle was gonna be yeah. blown. That's an old school up pick by Sam Young. <laughs> oh, that's some great athleticism. Well it really done. was. <laughs> He like went up on his tippy toes, didn't he? <laughs> Just <laughs> going up on the toes, but I'm not leaving. It was effective, that's for sure. Yep, yes, indeed. A bump off the pass. Sam Young tonight with 11 points. Very solid game. His uh, season and career high, 21 points. <laughs> Tell you what, you look at him and who's the guy? No, it's going to do this. But the young man is, when we did the Georgetown game here, there's three men, the freshman, really good looking player, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Same type of athlete. You know, long plays a three slash four, because it's more of a two three actually. Big guard, small forward. Uh, can't think, yep. I have to go to the book. <laughs> we'll come up with it. Harvey at the line. I can see him and I just cannot remember his name to save. Where's that Georgetown page? 50-45, full court pressure graves. Juan Summers, that's the name. Thank you, Juan Summers. He and Young, very similar. Good game, good you know. Summers is a freshman, Young's a sophomore. They get a chance to really make a name for themselves in this conference. Same build. Shot clock at five. Kendall. And he realizes it, fires and hits. Oh, that's a killer for a defense. Oh, boy, was it ever. You text me, Dave, that he looked down at the other end of the floor to look at the clock. Great recognition just then, and that is a backbreaker. Senior from Vancouver, BC. Lang wants it. Tough shot. Back rim. No good. Rebound Sam Young. Young was a factor again defensively just then. Did not quit on the play. Cook begging for the ball. Wide open baseline. He attacked. Oh, he got hammered. You heard that one. He was down floor before anybody along the baseline. This pained expression. Of his I can't believe you don't <laughs> see me. <laughs> 52-45, Pittsburgh at the 7-16 mark. Your love of lobster is about to be indulged in more ways than you can imagine. Lobster Fest is back at Red Lobster with new irresistible ways to love lobster. Like our new fire-grilled lobster shrimp and scallops topped in a zesty tequila lime sauce. Or give yourself the double decadence of succulent Maine and rock lobster tails. It's lobster all the ways you love it. Right now during Lobster Fest, only at Red Lobster. Experience is an excellent teacher. And what over 45 years of experience has taught Oppenheimer Funds is the strength of a balanced approach and the effectiveness of a diversely skilled team. 
valuable lessons that guide us through an ever-changing financial landscape. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. Carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Call your advisor for a prospectus with this and other fund information. Read it carefully before investing. Hey, if you're looking for an auto show, come to Barrel. Right now, pick up a brand new 07 Honda Accord for as low as $169 a month. And there's so much more right now at the one and only Barrel Honda. The all-new BMW X5. With room for seven, we've expanded on a great idea. Visit your local BMW center today for a test drive. Now, thanks to Barrel, we can all drive Cadillacs. Right now, pick up a brand new 07 CTS for as low as $2.29 a month. And there's so much more at the one and only Barrel Cadillac. Pittsburgh, 52-45, trying to shake the Seton Hall Pirates tonight. And it's been a difficult proposition. But you want to talk about athleticism, we talk about the potential of Sam Young. Here's some athleticism for you, folks. Yeah, it was this last move right there that I always had trouble coming up with. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but we continue with the athletics display of Sam Young and finishing off the gymnastics. I, For a minute I, I, there, I thought that was you in disguise yeah, right, doing yeah, that gymnastics yeah, right. move. I want to hear your wife come in on that one. <laughs> Sam Young, though, he looked, I'm telling you, saw some flashes last year. And you see what he's done tonight in the starting role, 11 points, 5 for 9, 4 rebounds. Yeah, sometimes you look at a kid and say, boy, if he's not a star some, at some right. point in his career, something's wrong. Yeah, something will happen good for this guy. You know, oh, he's, tonight man. he's really played well. And just to clarify, Dave, I know you're worried about this. There was no gymnastics in me at all. Ditto. <laughs> Fun to watch, though, is it? Oh, all they yeah, do it. Absolutely. I remember, uh, you know, as a little kid, yeah, he didn't play football or basketball. He's a gymnast. Yeah, yeah and then you go yeah. out in the rings and try to do some of that stuff. Never mind, pal. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then you tap him on the back, and you realize it's like all muscle. Right? <laughs> right. Every inch of their body it's is like just a, chiseled. It's like a cable on a bridge. Yeah, exactly. Holding the whole thing up. 54-45. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's bench has absolutely killed Seton Hall. Defensively, they're just not letting Seton Hall get comfortable on the floor at the offensive end. It's a tongue war to get off a shot because there's no, as there are with a lot of clubs anymore in college basketball, there's, nobody has, you know, is, is stroking it out there to open up right. the rest of the defense. Exactly. Oh, and on cue, Mr. Fields brings rain again. Oh, it brings rain and really brings some separation on the scoreboard, huh? Biggest lead, dozen points. But, you know, like last year, Duke got a lot of mileage the last couple of years out of, uh, and they did have some uh, good supporting cast, but J.J. Riddick's ability to stroke from the outside opened up so many things. Yeah, and now Seton Hall, I mean, I think, there you go, Seton Hall is going, I got a partially blocked Lang. Oh, he missed the chippy right at the basket. Goodness gracious. Taking a little bit out of the steam out of him, aren't it? Isn't mm -hmm. it right now? It's just Bobby Gonzalez's team. Gonna kill some clock now, under six to play. If you're the czar of bas college basketball, a couple of improvements you'd like to see would be? Boy, that's a good question. Part of me would think maybe go from the 35 second clock to 30 tonight. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Fields, another one, three for three. Yes, sir. He's hit his last three. Levance Fields with eight points. I'll tell you one thing I would like to see change is the in the NBA they use the restricted line underneath the basket for the charge and uh, block call. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I think they have right and the college game needs to do. Heard Rick Majerus say that exact same thing. I agree with both of them. So eight points for Fields. You saw Harvey score in that last one. Here's Brave. Oh, nice layoff. Young couldn't convert that. Seton Hall's going to have to do just this, pick up the pace. 
Missed it. Tip. No. Tip. No. Kept alive. Still pirate ball. Probably right. Gonzalez, I think, is yelling at the backboard. Was hit. All right. He worked hard for that one. Used the body very effectively. Eugene Harvey with the left hand, and he's uh, very efficient with his left hand on uh, those drives. I still say, I, we don't have a shot chart here, but I do not think outside of the half ender from half from midcourt that he's taking an outside jump. You know, and, and if he develops that and starts to get better at looking for that, that's going to just make his driving game that much better for him and easier for him to accomplish. And he's working like, like crazy to get a shot off. Good for him, he can finish with the left hand. 59 50 at the 450 mark here. See if Seton Hall gets some activity defensively now. Well, they're trying to caffeine the game up a little bit here, eh? Trying to get a little ragged going up and down, get a little crazy. Pittsburgh's not going to allow that to happen. Uh, they don't turn it over for 12 times a game, so. Right now, the Panthers have just nine. There's 426 left, and Gauz is hurt. Not yeah. a good sign. Well, you know it's bad if he yeah, wins in because he's as tough yeah, as they come. Nothing slows him down. Didn't see it. And it, I hope it's not one of those knee to knee jobs because you know how much that hurts. Yeah, it might be. But, yeah, but well, you know close, what, though, Dave? If, if you have your choice and you're dealing with the knee without knowing exactly what happens. Here it is. Uh, it was coming off a of crick. Kendall got him. Yeah. I think he got him mid thigh. As, yep. as much as they hurt, that's what you want, though, because you don't want the twist of the knee and mm -hmm. the problems with the ligaments and, you know, those ACLs and all. So you, if you have your choice, you'll take that short term pain rather than the long term. Nutter. Oh. Offensive foul. <laughs> so they're going to give him the bucket. Right. Take a look. Hey, in this situation, you have to start going towards the basket. Shot off. After the shot, the body contact. Didn't really see the body down there, though, did you? It looked like uh, Biggs gave I think it was, was it Biggs? No, it was, yeah, it was Biggs. Oh, and it was Cook. And a replay and a quick look. I'd like to get another look at that. But it looked like he gave a little open door there. It looked like there was, you know, a little. So, yeah, yeah, side action, yep. Pittsburgh liking this score now, up eight. And the clock running short now, 410. Big yeah, I know. He's not out of yell. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody grabbed yeah. him. Paul Davis, nothing doing there. Ramon rebounds. I can remember as a kid watching games. The great Laker team, I think 71 72. The late great ha Harold Happy Hairston. Sure. I think he was the guy he said, I got him. That's it. <laughs> hey, one thing about this sport, you can yell and, and, and really get the officials' attention. Kendall wheels up in there, rebound, a good one. Yeah. And Ramon wants the ball outside, start the clock back. There goes Jimmy Dixon. It's like, back him out. Back. It's like a python here, just squeezing. Yeah, you know? That's it. Trying to suck all the air out of the balloon right now. Yeah, I got the ball. You can't have it. And I lead by eight. Feels like it's about 18. Foul before. Too aggressive on the setup. Mike Cook. Foul on Mike. Got a TV timeout. 310 to go. Bobby Gonzalez's club still in reasonable contact. However, Pittsburgh really starting to squeeze it down here as the clock runs short at 3.10 to go in this Big East contest. Cook for. Both the rich tapestry of love and devotion Remote the sweet saccharin of all that devotion Passion comes in many colors. The Pontiac Solstice.
the Energy Select Sector Spider. Visit us on the web at sectorspdrs.com or call 1-800-THE-AMEX now. The road of tomorrow is being created today. From tires that help make your car more fuel efficient and safer. To earth-friendly production and recycling methods. Michelin is striving to help you find a better way forward. Michelin, a better way forward. One, 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 one. Tonight's Big East game is brought to you by Pontiac, official performance machines of the NCAA. Select Sector Spiders start weaving a stronger portfolio today. Visit us on the web at sectorspdrs.com or call 1-800-THE-AMEX. Advance Auto Parts, for the best parts people and prices, we're ready in advance. And by PNC, leading the way. Eight-point lead. Pittsburgh, the eighth-ranked team in the country this week. Leading here at the Continental Airlines Arena as we take a look at the advanced look at Pittsburgh and Seton Hall's remaining games brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts. For the best parts, people and prices, we're ready in advance. Georgetown, currently tied with Pittsburgh, is up next. West Virginia, that backyard brawl, always a treat. Then at Marquette and the Pirates. Last home game coming up, South Florida. Then they finish the regular season on the road at Cincinnati and Louisville. Yeah, and they're trying to play catch up. You know, look at Pittsburgh, 23 and 4, 13 in the last 15 games. But Seton Hall really needs Connecticut, the one team above them right now, to have some problems with their schedule. They play at Rutgers, Louisville, Villanova, and at Georgetown. It could happen. Yeah, it could. Seton Hall has to do it here too, and right now, down six. Here's full court pressure, oh. thrown away. Nutter got an avenue along the baseline, tried to back pass, one pass, too many. Fields with a man to beat, causes back, lay it up, beautifully done. Uh, great decision just then to pull that basketball away from Gauze. Jenny Dixon calling a timeout after that bucket. But you know, Dave, before you could even say it down to Seton Hall end with that steal, just about to say, you know what, Seton Hall needs to get a good shot right now. And what do they do? They turn it over for a bucket down the other way. Another yeah. back burner. And he was in pretty good shooting position. Yeah, exactly. Doing range. the right thing and bringing it to the middle of the floor with the pass, but just nobody home. Jamie Dixon closing in on career win number 100. Here's their tournament resume, and it is impressive. Spread, a schedule straight nine. Big wins against Georgetown, West Virginia, and Washington. They had the one loss at Wisconsin. Certainly nothing wrong with that. Wisconsin number number two in the country. Four and three against the top 50. Yeah, kind of an indicator there, right? Dave, you have the eighth-ranked team in the country, four and three versus the top 50. Kind of spreading it out a little bit this yeah. year, isn't it? Yeah. You know, no one. I mean, there are teams, you know, Ohio, Ohio State, Wisconsin, Florida, that have been right up there to, from the beginning right through it. But they throw Carolina in. Carolina, yeah. Then I think he can take the rest of the field. Yeah, kind of push it all together almost some yeah. nights. Nutter, oh man, big contact as Lang went hard for it. And he might be on Graves with the push off a little bit as he went up for the rebound. Graves is third. I mean, you make a good point. Was, uh, Ohio State got number one earlier today. So Ohio State, Wisconsin, Carolina. Uh, UCLA Florida, got drilled at home. They got drilled on at right. West Virginia. That's no disgrace. So let's put them in that top group. Florida. Losing at Vandy. Right. Yeah, and it, so those are clearly the top five. Now, after that, I, I just think it's wide open. I do, too. That's why I think this is going to be a lot of fun once again. Oh, I mean, it's going to be. When that tournament starts, the big tournament starts in March, man. Right? It's going to be wild. 62-56 now. Full court pressure by the Hall. Ramon, oh, right where he did yeah. not want to be. Yeah, no man's land right there. High up, and it gives the ball to Pittsburgh. Are you 
get to that corner right there with two defenders on you. You have almost you have four defenders because the sidelines and the baseline are two other defenders because you can't step out there. Worst place you can be, or crossing half court, and stopping one step above the past half court. Oh, oh, he had a walk. He was. Sure did. About 25 people behind us and to our right. That's it here. Here's Fields getting it across. We approach two minutes to go in a six-point game. Fields gets it back to Graves. Stutter step in the paint. Gives to Kendall. Big shot and he hit it. Well, that was a good spot up by Kendall yeah. just then. Release, get away from the action. Put yourself in a spot where if they're going to double team, you make it more difficult for them to reach you. Season high 14 for Kendall, one away from his career high. Well, let's take a look. That was a walk on the initial catch by yeah. Jordan. That one's okay. Yeah, but he, when he came out of the paint. Yeah, he didn't have, <laughs> he didn't have clean possession <laughs> on the catch. And yeah. He's holding on to it. Nutter to the line. Well, the way Seton Hall comes at you, Dave, with the full court, this thing is, uh, we've got a long way to no go question. here. And you can see where Bobby Gonzalez is. You know, when he gets a few front court players and he signs some good ones up for next year, and a couple of them are supposed to be an immediate impact guys, this team will, you know, has a chance to really be formidable. There's that Set spot. up the trap. And run. Yeah, well, you don't want to stop there. Harvey all the way, and he got fouled. Well, he took a hard fall, too. Second worst place on the floor. <laughs> one is the deep corner trying to break the press. You do not want to take one stride. Watch what happens. One, you no. pick it up. No way. It's just not the place you want to be. Gaines made it happen. He got the tip. Dave, even though I don't think the shot, the, ha uh, the 10 second was violation was coming into play there, but you'd rather stop one step before half court than one step across half mm -hmm. court. Because we're all huge now. Harvey at 83%, seventh in the conference. Time running short, about 29 to re remaining. Now, if you see it all now, you want to turn that buck 29 into about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to go to work tomorrow. What are you talking about? 64 59, 129 to go. All right, so if you're Jamie Dixon, what's, what's immediately uh, on your mind? Uh, immediately on my mind is making sure you come to the basketball for a catch because Seton Hall is going to try to overplay as much as they possibly can so and watch for the middle of the floor too because you want to have a safety guy after the first two guys who make their cuts against Bobby Gonzalez's man-to-man -man, you then want to have a secondary guy come in and try to find the middle of the floor for an opening it's just not necessarily the first wing that's going to be open but the second let's take a look at uh, some of the toughest schedules in the country and Pittsburgh is right there talking about their four and three record against the uh, top 50 teams and so let's see if the here's a first wave coming at you now there he goes the second guy yeah, that was a tough place too. to catch it again wow. one got knocked down gave it up not a runner flip oh, no put back cause is good three point game there too, Dave, that yep. went undetected. 115 to go. Bobby Gonzalez working it hard. 17-5 run by Seton Hall. You gotta get the guy out of that deep corner. Pitts continues to run into that corner right there again. That allows double teams better job of getting it to the middle then. Ramon. Down. Dallas swung and missed the ball, but got a piece of uh, Ronald Ramon. There's another walk. Yeah. Another walk right to the corner there. And then a little floater out there. Watch for the charge. Yeah, see the no That's ball the there? That was a charge. Should have gone the other way. Yep. Make it a two possession game. First time to the line for Ramon is. Successful. Ramon, 87% on the season. One of the leaders of the Big East. 
Seton Hall doesn't need a three. Boom. Back rimmed it. Get to the basket, get to the free throw line, or get yourself a layup. Don't start settling for long range shots. Plenty of time to start attacking. Minute to go. Oh, not her. Uh, Gaines set a huge pick. Shot missed. Fields controls on the break. I like the fouls at this time, Dave. You're down two possessions like this. The minute and change. Some people lay well. Let's go. I think you got to stretch the clock out still. So that's a good foul. So 14 points is the biggest lead that Pittsburgh's had in the second half. Seton Hall got back into this game, a 17-5 lead. Curtis Shaw wiping the ball down. But they haven't had any controversies with the ball in the college game as opposed to the NBA. Seven. Left on the clock. Fields an 80% free throw shooter. Panthers is a team 10th in the conference. Fields good with the first. Aaron Gray not playing today. Rolled his ankle against Washington in the final 10 seconds on Saturday. 65 61 win. Pitts won six of the seven at 13 of its last 15. Last team in the country unbeaten in conference play on the road at 5 0. Oh. Five-point game and a free throw still to come. Keep that blitzkrieg defensive attack. Keep it coming if you're Bobby Gonzalez. They get after you like it's a piranha feed, feeding too sometimes. Man, it's amazing. And, and when you when you play in that style too, I mean, when you're down especially, I mean, you just have to keep going at it. Continue to try to go for the ball, and if you, I mean, fouls are going to be part of that strategy when you're down. So, look at Ronald Ramon, one of several New Yorkers. Aaron Grace from not too far from here, about an hour and a half away from Emmaus, Pennsylvania, in the Allentown area. Fields from Brooklyn, Benjamin from Mount Vernon, New York, Ramon from the Bronx, Tyrell Biggs from Manuet, New York. We've got some moisture on the floor. Uh, it's dry enough. Get back to action here with 49-7 left on the clock. Fields has hit some three really big field goals. Cut in a couple of runs at Seton Hall, baby. Nice to have an 80% free throw shooter at the line. Too, Indeed. Huh? Six-point lead, Pittsburgh. Harvey going left, takes it all the way in. That shot got influenced by Cook. And a jump ball keeps it right here. Seton Hall ball. And let's take a look at our game-changing performance brought to you by Pontiac. Here's Fields. Yeah, well, they needed a bucket here, Dave. Kendall just separated himself, but I thought this was a big bucket right there to give them some space and smart basketball to really spread the floor. Gaines, surprise line with that pass. Tough shot, fadeaway's good. 33-8, timeout, Seton Hall. And it down to four again. That's a full timeout. So Kendall, been very physical. Certainly not a surprise in a Big East game. Well, the Aaron Gray play happened with uh, 10 seconds ago. I was going to say yeah. under a minute, but yeah. it was only 10 seconds. Yeah. We're under a minute right now, and Kendall's walking very carefully off the floor, I would say. That certainly doesn't bode well with uh, Pittsburgh, coming, uh, with Georgetown coming up in their next game. As we take a look at the standing, Pittsburgh and Georgetown locked up at 10 and 2. Georgetown's won. Nine consecutive games. Been very impressive. Louisville's been on the run. Marquette wins tonight to go to nine and five. We've got Notre Dame, Syracuse, West Virginia still with a chance at ten wins. That's, that could be a real. Uh, somebody's gonna have to call off the jam on that one. Jeez. <laughs> There's a lot of teams that can get ten wins. Absolutely. Start adding it up. I mean, at least seven of them pretty much have a shot, a good shot at it. There's Pittsburgh, wins. Georgetown at Georgetown, West Virginia at Marquette, and then the biggest tournament, New York City. Didn't we just start the season? Pardon me? I said, didn't we just start oh, the it season? Seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, when you think about it, how quickly the. Now, 
Time is flying, my friend. <laughs> Thank God we're not aging. <laughs> but a bump bump. They'll be here all night. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Gonzalez and Jamie Dixon are better aging a lot oh, faster than us right man, now, right? No question. Keaton Hall 12 and 13, 3 and 9 in the Big East. Nice. A little pressure here. Yep. Gaines. Ooh. Can they trap them there? Tied up. Tied up. And it's going to be big ball. 28-2 left on the clock. That's one of the things that don't go mentioned that often, but you have to understand whose ball would be on the possession because you can risk. Don't throw the ball away. Go for the timeout if, or the tie-up if you know that it's going to stay with you. The Gaines foul behind. with the foul. Team foul number 23, Stan Gaines has his fifth personal. Stan Gaines has fouled out. Gaines gives you darn good effort every night. Five points hit a three. That's six foot seven. Biggest guy, actually second biggest guy after Garcia. That Seton Hall can put on the floor with Grant Fillmeyer at 6'11 after this season with a knee injury. So Bobby Gonzalez going to use his full 30 seconds here. He's only down four with 24 9 left on the clock. Fillmeyer. Not a big score. But a guy that's uh, good leadership. Previous coach Lewis Orr said it may be one of the hardest working kids he's ever been around. Well, now it comes down to that making free throws down the stretch. And you know Grant would love to have been out here to finish up this senior season. Pittsburgh winners of six of the last seven, 13 of 15. Keaton all trying to end a seven game conference losing streak. Free throw by Mike Cook is good. There's Gray out with the ankle injury. 67% shooter at the line, steps up and takes one out of two. two. Nutter. And Harvey gets it across, looking to penetrate, takes it down deep and scores. 68 65. I think his half court shot at the That's end of huge. the first half is big. Harvey on the bump against Fields. Can, you can hear Bobby Gonzalez very hoarse saying it ain't over. It ain't over. It's a terrific shot right here, Ooh, though. Somehow tough. he kind of see him pull that ball back against Biggs. And it's a very difficult shot. Yeah, take a look at it. The right hand goes back and kind of flips it up off the glass. Three points the margin, 24 points right here. Fields with the free throw. Lance at uh, 80%, 14 points, four rebounds. Saturday against Washington, bringing Keith Benjamin, another smaller, quicker player in there. Biggs did a nice job off the bench. He did, as did most of their bench, <laughs> consistently yeah. off the bench. All net. Five points, 15 seconds. And off the gauze, and he's got to shoot it here. Yep. Eight seconds. Oh, wow. my goodness, he hit it. I believe this is a two-point game with 6.4 to go. Fields in the corner, and they give the quick foul. Well, they get it to the right guy. Fields is the guy you want at the line at 80%. He or Ramon, two of their better free throw shooters. You know, you take, they took a lot of time sure off the did. clock, but they did get the look to go down. That's the most important thing. Good pick by Lang. Tough shot by Nutter. Nutter on the evening with 19 points. Fields with an opportunity to put this thing away to make it a two-possession game. Fields, his 15th point. Well, he, did, he barely hits the net. Yeah. Well, I think... Oh. Short. On that time, three-point game, three, two, it'll count. Oh! 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 Wow, almost got a tie. That ball was a line drive that was right over the top rim, Dave, and banged off the back rim. Boy, was that ever close. 
Bobby Gonzalez's club is undermanned, but boy, do they play hard. Seen them a bunch here lately this season. It's been something. 71 68, the final for Jim Spinarkle and our entire crew. I'm Dave Sims. Tune in next Saturday for more Big East Hoops, Cincinnati and DePaul, receiving a presentation of ESPN Regional TV, the worldwide leader in collegiate sports. At this very second, the available 4MATIC all-wheel drive system is sensing wheel slip. It automatically maintains constant wheel speed to help eliminate the loss of traction. At Mercedes-Benz, we have a firm grip on winter weather. 4MATIC all-wheel drive. Available in seven Mercedes-Benz model lines. Take on the world with one of three breakfast platters from McDonald's. They go great with our premium roast coffee in smooth or bold blends. I gotta be honest with you, standing there is not gonna help me make a decision. I'm gonna need you to back off. Do stuff faster. Sign up for Comcast high-speed internet for just $24.99 a month for three months. It's way faster than DSL from your phone company. And now with Power Boost, your fast connection is even faster. Just call 1-800-COMCAST. Comcast high-speed internet with Power Boost. It's Comcastic. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. President's Day only comes once a year. And to celebrate, Chevy has some commanding offers with great deals on almost every 07. The Chevy President's Day sale. Hurry, five days only, then miss term ends. Non-GM owners and lessees can get $1,500 total cash back on a 2007 Chevy Cobalt Coupe. See for yourself. Shop and compare at PACHevyDeals.com. Game edition of Pittsburgh Sports Tonight alongside Curtis Aiken. I'm Paul Alexander. The Panthers taking on Seton Hall tonight on the road without their big man, Aaron Gray. And this one got a little bit dicey, but the Panthers get what they need. A victory, 11-2 and in the Big East. Now they can actually look forward to Georgetown. Maybe they had an eye on the Hoyas tonight, but Seton Hall had their attention most of the evening. Well, if you're Jamie Dixon, you say mission accomplished. Then it was, certainly wasn't pretty, but down the stretch, I think they did what they needed to do to get the game uh, in their favor. Of course, I thought a few bright spots to the game was Levance Fields played solid basketball down the stretch, missed the last free throw, but he was five for six from the free throw line, did a great job of controlling the tempo, controlling the basketball. But more importantly, I thought uh, uh, Graves played solid basketball as a senior, and you talk about Levon Kendall, probably, at least in my opinion, in terms of effort and output in terms of both ends of the floor, probably played his best game of the year at the right time. No question about that. Let's go back to New Jersey. Continental Airlines Arena. Let's get to a highlight. Barry Warson in the house. Former great pit assistant and Aaron Gray on the bench with the ankle injury. Under two minutes to play. As we pick it up early. Nutter misses. Garcia in the glass. Layup is good in the foul. Pirates up seven early. Not a good start for the Panthers moments later. Goss, the steal. That's why he's brought in there. The dish and the layup. Seton Hall by eight. Not a good start for the Panthers. Back comes Pitt, though. Biggs, the steal. Ahead to Graves. That's a high percentage shot. Pitt got the defense started to get the offense rolling. Well, Biggs did a great job when he got into the ball game. A lot was expected out of him, of course, with the big guy not playing tonight. But Graves, as a senior, is playing solid basketball all year for the Pitt Panthers. Under two minutes to play now as we see the elevation at the flush. Check out Sam Young. Boy, that's getting it done all by his launch and the steal and the jab. Now it's Pitt by seven. That's right. One of, the, one of the things that the Pitt fans do, and they get excited when he gets the basketball on open floor because he's capable of doing anything as he shows you that his 42-inch vertical is back. Eugene Harvey 
That's a reminder that Seton Hall is going to be around for the second half. That three ball would cut the lead to four as we go to the second half. Sam Young really making himself available to the passer, which is key, and he gets the hoop and the foul. All night. No question. LeVance Fields, three ball. That gave Pitt a 12-point lead, but as you can see, with time running down, that would have tied it. Pitt does escape. 71-68 the final. Pitt now 11-2, 24-4 overall for the Hall. Well, NIT would be their best hope at this point at 3-10 and 12-14. And, and, and for Jamie Dixon, congratulations. The quickest Pitt coach ever for 100 career victories and obviously... Ben Hallen passed the baton, and Jamie just ran right with it, and this is a big win tonight for the Panthers. Well, certainly, if you would ask Jamie Dixon, he'd probably say it was just another ball game, but trust me, I know him very well, and he's very excited about getting his 100th win. And we knew Seton Hall was going to press, and they did, and at times, they did it effectively. Let's take a look at some of the pressure applied tonight by the Pirates of Seton Hall, and sometimes it bothered Pitt a little bit. Well, in fact, I think it bothered uh, this team each and every time they came out and effectively really went to the press, that's just a great deal of concern to Jamie Dixon, how these guys are going to respond under pressure. You know, I really thought Seton Hall would come out of the gate pressing. They didn't. They only chose to press at certain times of the ball game. And when they did, they were very effective at pressing. As you see Pitt here just breaking the press, getting over half court. But they, they really bothered them every opportunity they got when they got into the press. Pitt was not able to handle the basketball effectively. Yeah, they got away with it there, but when you're floating it ahead to Tyrell Biggs, that's not the way you're drawing it up. That's not the way it was drawn up. But again, uh, they did sustain some pressure, but they handled it, and that's what you want. And here, we're seeing what, what Pitt does when they're trying to establish themselves defensively. And Curtis, at the times, Seton Hall got to the hoop too easily. Well, it was very obvious that you know, the space eater was not in the paint tonight. The big guy was on the sideline hurt, and I really thought that Seton Hall did a, a great job of exploiting the guys inside. They really got some good looks. Obviously, Pitt was able to pull away with the, the victory tonight, but they seemingly got into the lane every opportunity that they wanted to. Here you see, getting around Cook. Cook picks up the foul against Cook. He goes to the free throw line and missed both free throws. But again, they're getting in the lane, something that they wouldn't have been able to do if Aaron Gray was on the court. And again, I think a lot of it has to do with when Aaron Gray's in there, maybe you could get to the hoop, but you're not even going there because you know the big fella's there. You're not trying. With Gray out, maybe they actually get a little more aggressive going to the rim. Well, Aaron Gray's presence alone, he does so much that people can't see or don't give him credit for. I mean, you know, you, you look at the stat sheet and you say, okay, well, how many blocks did he have tonight? How many rebounds did he have tonight? But he does so many other things. Me being a guard, I know a lot of times I would go in the lane and guys like Patrick Ewan, just their presence alone would make me adjust a shot. So you don't get anything in terms of showing up in the stat sheet as far as adjusting shots, but that makes a big difference. When you go into the lane, you think you got a shot and the seven-footer comes over and all of a sudden you have to throw a pass that may turn turn into a turnover. Aaron Gray does not get credit for that, but in fact he should. And if you don't know, I don't want to put you on the spot. Do we have any idea how Aaron's going to be come Saturday in Georgetown? Do we have an inkling as to whether that ankle is going to allow him to go? Well, from what I understand, I'm, and certainly Tony Solis is one of the best trainers in the country. He's been there since I, I played basketball at the University of Pittsburgh. And from what I understand is he probably could have gone tonight, but why take a chance in a game like this? Um, I think he'll be ready to go, particularly for the next game. All right, plenty more with Curtis coming up. But, you know, it was President's Day, and how else do you celebrate, you know, President's Day with, without a little bit of the hockey? And the Penguins were on the road today, a matinee at the Nassau County Coliseum. The Pens looking to extend that unbeaten streak to 17 games. And, yes, they had their chances, although they didn't get it done. Sid the Kid and the Pens on the road. Ryan Malone, watch him here. Gloves it and then scores it. One to nothing, Pens lead early. Later in the first, same score, Isles on the power play. Aaron Asham, Kozlov. Oh, he just rifles it past Mark andre Fleury. We're tied at one. Under one minute to play in the first. Sid, watch the patience here. Waiting, waiting, feeding. The record ball there, number 21. Pens up two to one after one. For the second period, less than a minute in. Crosby.